Hi, myself S. Lakshmanachari, working as assistant professor in Department of EC, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today, I want to discuss on topic uh, different coupling schemes used in multi-stage amplifiers. We know the amplifier. Amplifier is an electronic circuit which can be used to increase the strength of a weak signal. In practice, we need an amplifier to amplify the weak signal from a source such as a microphone to a level which is suitable to drive to an output device like a loudspeaker. So generally we are receiving a signal from a very weak sources like a microphone or, a, or any sensor. So that should be amplified before it can be drive to the output device like uh, some motor or loudspeaker. Okay. So for faithful amplification, the amplifier should have a desired voltage gain, current gain, input impedance. Input impedance should match with the source and uh, the output impedance should match with the load. So when this uh, cast is fulfilled, uh, then the output voltage of the amplifier should be faithful reproduction of the given input signal. Okay, so that is a faithful amplification. So, but uh, in many cases, uh, so this uh, faithful amplification not possible because of the various reasons. Okay, so hence, uh, so. In many uh, in many cases, uh, the single stage amplifiers they cannot provide uh, these desired uh, characteristics because of the limitations of the transistor. So that's why the single stage amplifiers are replaced with a multi stage amplifier. So multi stage amplifier means uh, so different uh, single stage amplifiers are connected in cascaded manner. So cascaded manner means uh, the output of one amplifier is given to the input of the another amplifier. So this type of connection is called uh, cascaded connection. So mainly we are going for the cascaded, uh, uh, cascaded uh, multi-stage amplifier rather than single stage because to achieve a, a desired uh, voltage gain, current gain, and input impedance and output impedance. So to achieve a desired property of a amplifier, we are going for the multi-stage amplifiers. Okay. So in multi-stage amplifiers, so in between two stages, we are using a, a coupling element. So that coupling element, it could be a capacitor or transformer. So you can use uh, any one of the component as a coupling element. So the process of joining two amplifier stages in using a, a coupling device is called uh, cascading. So cascade means uh, the process of joining two amplifier stages using a, a coupling device that is called uh, cascading. Here you can see a two stage uh, cascaded connection. So here two Amplifier stages are there. So this is a first stage and this is a second stage. So these two stages are connected by using a, a coupling device. So this is a coupling device. So this coupling device, it could be a capacitor, capacitor or transformer. It could be a capacitor or transformer we can use as a, a coupling device. So here the input to the first stage is a, let assume this is a V1. Okay. So V1 is the, it is the input voltage to the first stage and V0, V0 is the output voltage of the overall amplifier. And the input to the, the input to the second stage amplifier is a V2. And the output of the first stage is a V2 because the output of the first stage we are giving to the input of the second stage. So that's why 
the output of the first stage and the input of the second stage both are having the same voltages so the overall voltage gain is the product of the individual voltage gains okay so the overall voltage gain we can calculate the overall voltage gain av so that is equal to the product of individual voltage gains so let assume the voltage gain of the first stage is uh, av1 and the voltage gain of the second stage is uh, av2 so we can calculate that is equal to so voltage gain of the first stage so in general the gain so gain is the ratio of output to the input so voltage gain means uh, the ratio of output voltage to the input voltage so that is called uh, voltage gain so the voltage gain of the first stage is uh, it is a ratio of uh, output voltage to the input voltage so what is the output voltage of the first stage so output voltage of the first stage is a uh, v2 so v2 by what is the input voltage of the first stage so the input voltage of the first stage is a uh, v1 so this is a uh, v1 so this is a ratio of uh, the output voltage to the input voltage of the first stage similarly second stage so the output voltage of the second stage is a uh, v0 so this is v0 and the uh, input voltage of the second stage is uh, v2 v2 okay so this is a ratio of uh, the output voltage to the input voltage of a second stage so here the v2 and v2 gets cancelled and you will get a v0 by v1 so this is a overall voltage gain so overall voltage gain is the it is the ratio of output to voltage overall output overall output voltage to the in overall input voltage so overall output voltage is a it is a v0 and overall input uh, to the amplifier is a uh, v1 so this ratio is called uh, overall voltage gain so that will be represented with uh, a suffix uh, v okay so av is the overall voltage gain av1 is the it is a uh, voltage gain of the first stage av2 is the voltage gain of the second stage so suppose if there are n number of stages are there the product of uh, voltage gains of those n stages uh, will be the uh, will be the overall gain of overall voltage gain of that uh, multi stage amplifier so this is uh, uh, about the multi stage amplifier voltage gain calculation and uh, coming to the purpose of coupling devices so as uh, as we have discussed uh, the coupling elements are we are using in between the two different uh, stages so suppose if you have two stages so this is the first stage and this is a second stage so in between we are using a, a coupling element we are using a coupling element so this is first stage and this is a second stage so in between we are using this uh, coupling elements so what is the basic purpose of the coupling device so the purpose so basic purpose of the coupling device so here we have two main purposes one is uh, to transfer ac signal from output of one stage to the input of the second stage so that is a first purpose of the using coupling capacitor so that is a transfer the ac signal transfer to transfer alternating current from output of one stage to the input of the another stage input of the another stage or next stage so that is a the first purpose to transfer ac and the second one is the to block the dc signal to block the direct current to block the dc to block the dc to pass from output of one stage to the input of the next stage which means isolate the dc conditions that means the dc signal it cannot pass through the it cannot pass through the single stage 
because the dc signal if, if dc signal is present uh, uh, with the ac signal this dc signal may affect on the biasing it may affect on the operating point so due to that dc the operating point uh, may change if the operating point may ch will change uh, then your output voltage also will change so that's that's why only we need to pass the only a signal from output of one stage to the input of the second stage okay so these are the basic purposes of the coupling element so mainly we are using to allow the ac signal to pass from one stage to the uh, input of the next stage and uh, to block the dc signal to block the dc signal so these are the purposes so mainly already we have discussed as a coupling element we can use uh, uh, either capacitor or transformer if you use a capacitor if you use capacitor c so how it will blocks ac uh, it blocks ac and it allows uh, ac signal so the capacitor it will it will be okay so the capacitor symbol will be like that capacitor okay so, so if you take the reactance of the capacitance so xc is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc so so how the capacitor will be acts like uh, for ac signal and dc signal so for ac signal so for ac signal the f is equal to 60 h or uh, 60 or 50 h so if you take a, a frequency so frequency for a ac signal will be it is having some finite value let assume some uh, uh, th then the reactance xc is equal to 1 by 2 pi into so if you take a higher frequency then the if you assume f is equal to infinity then 1 by infinity is equal to 0 so that means uh, the reactance will be very very less reactance will be very very less so reactance is a very very less means uh, the capacitor will act as a short circuit the capacitor acts as a short circuit so it acts as a short circuit so if you apply a ac signal to the capacitor it can easily pass through the capacitor to the output uh, output of the amplifier okay so in this way the capacitor it acts as a short circuit for ac signal and similarly for dc signal for dc signal so as we know for dc signals the frequency f is equal to zero f is equal to zero so the reactance xc is equal to one by two by fc so here f is equal to 0 so 1 by 0 which implies that is in infinite so infinite means the reactance will be very very large so then for dc signals the capacitor <coughs> it acts as a open circuit open circuit because it is exhibiting a very large reactance very large reactance so <coughs> if you apply a dc signal to the capacitor then the capacitor it acts as a open circuit so that uh, the dc signal it cannot uh, pass through the capacitor so in this way uh, the capacitor will allows the ac signal to pass through it and it blocks the dc signal okay so this is a, about the capacitor as a coupling element and next one is the transformer okay so next one is a transformer so here uh, instead of uh, the capacitor we are using a transformer as a coupling element so when you apply a alternating signal so generally the transformer will be it will be the transformer will be 
like this. So when you apply a AC signal, okay, when you apply AC signal, then the magnetic field will be produced at the primary winding of the transformer. So which results uh, the magnetic field uh, will, will move and uh, flux field lines uh, will interact with the secondary winding of the winding of the transformer. So that means there is a mutual inductance, induction, mutual induction. So through that uh, it results uh, there is a current flowing uh, through the secondary winding of the transformer. So that's why uh, at the output of the transformer then there is a current, alternating current will flow. Okay, so that's why the AC signal, it can pass through the transformer. And if you apply a DC signal, if you apply a DC signal, so DC signal already we, we know. So as the, uh, as the direct current is a constant, uh, the magnetic field, it cannot move. And uh, the flux lines, the field lines, uh, which may not uh, uh, may not uh, interact with the uh, secondary winding of the transformer. So that's why there is no uh, induction of the EMF or current. So that's why uh, the transformer, the AC signals it can allows and uh, it, it blocks the DC signals. So this is the purpose of the coupling devices. Types of coupling. So joining one amplifier stage with another is in cascade using a coupling device forms a multi-stage amplifier circuit. Okay. So that means joining one amplifier with the another amplifier using a uh, coupling element. So uh, such type of connections are called multi-stage amplifiers. So there are three basic methods of coupling. So there are three. Uh, basic methods of uh, coupling. So that are the first one is the RC coupled, RC uh, RC coupling. So RC means uh, resistance capacitance, resistance capacitance uh, coupling. Second one transformer coupling, and third one direct coupling. So in the first coupling method, so RC coupling. So that means in this coupling, we are using resistor or under capacitor C as a coupling element. In the second method, so transformer. So instead of R under C, we are using a, a transformer. Transformer as a coupling element. In third one direct coupling, here we are not going to use uh, any type of uh, coupling elements like uh, resistor, capacitor and transformer. That means instead of uh, give, uh, applying the output uh, uh, to the uh, output of one stage to the input of the other stage uh, through a element, uh, we are giving directly. So that means we are giving the output of uh, one amplifier stage to the input of the other stage uh, directly without using any coupling elements. So such type of connection is called uh, direct coupled amplifiers. So first one is a RC coupled amplifier, resistance capacitance amplifier. So this is a mostly used method of uh, coupling. This is mostly usual method of uh, coupling uh, formed using a, a simple resistor capacitor combination. So because, uh, so these are very, uh, we, we can get the resistor and capacitor, these are uh, very less in value. So the cost of that uh, component also very small and also the area occupied by components also very less. Okay, so that's why uh, we are using this, uh, th that's why it is a mostly used uh, uh, method of uh, coupling. And uh, the coupling network uh, using this coupling are called uh, RC coupled amplifiers. The coupling network which uses the resistor and capacitor are called the uh, are called uh, RC coupled amplifiers. And uh, capacitors which allows AC signal and blocks the DC signal. It is the main coupling element uh, used here. So already we have discussed the uh, purpose of using capacitor as a coupling element. So it uh, allows the AC signal and blocks the 
DC signal. And uh, here as a coupling element, uh, the coupling network. Uh, so the coupling network, uh, it consists of uh, one resistor and uh, one capacitor. So the resistor is the uh, RC and the uh, capacitor is uh, represented with the CC. CC means uh, coupling capacitor. So RC is the, uh, it is a collector resistor. So coupling capacitor, it passes as a signal from output of one stage to the input of the another stage. While blocking DC components for, from DC bias voltages to affect the next stage. If you come to the circuit diagram of the two stage RC coupled amplifier, so this is a circuit. So it is having two stages. So this is a first stage. So this is a second stage. So total it contains two stages. And uh, this is a signal. And uh, the signal which is to be amplified, we are applying at the here. So in general, it is a very small input signal in the order of uh, millivolts or microvolts because that is a very small input voltage that should uh, that we have to amplify. So that we are applying to the a base of the first transistor in the first stage. So this is the first stage. So this, okay. So we are this in small input signal we are applying to the base of the first transistor through the input capacitor. So this is input capacitor C in. Okay. Okay. Uh, and next, uh, this resistor uh, R1, R2, RE. So, these resistors, they are acting as a voltage divider biasing. Voltage divider biasing for the transistor to keep the operating point uh, in the center of the load line. Okay. So, these uh, R1, R2, RE uh, resistors, they are trying to keep the, they will provide a voltage divider bias. So that voltage divider bias will keep the operating point uh, on the center of the load line. So that's why there is a faithful amplification will happen. And uh, the amplified version of the given input signal, we are getting at the collector of the first stage, first transistor. So here, so here we will get the amplified signal. Okay, so this is an amplifier signal. Okay, and again, this amplified signal we are applying to the base of the second stage through a, a, a through a coupling capacitor. So this uh, output signal it will be further amplified by next stage, and the amplified uh, output we are getting at the output side. Okay, so this is a, a process happening in the two stage RC coupled amplifier. So the, uh, we are applying a small input signal which is to be amplified at the input of the first stage and it will be amplified by the first stage and amplified signal. Uh, then again, we are giving applying to the input of the second stage and it will be, it will be further amplified. And finally, we are getting uh, the amplified version of the given input signal at the output of the second stage. So if you see the uh, phase shift, so the phase shift of the output signal at the first stage with respect to input signal is uh, 180 degrees phase shift because uh, the transistor we are using is a, it is a common emitter configuration. So in common emitter configuration, the output signal will be 180 degrees out of phase with the given input signal. Under uh, that 180 degrees phase shifted signal, again it will be further amplified by the another second stage. So that means uh, another one more another 180 degrees uh, phase shift will be provided. So total uh, we are providing a 360 degrees uh, 
phase shifter with respect to the input signal. Okay. So here, if you see that uh, capacitors, we are using different types of capacitors in in this uh, circuit diagram. So that are input capacitor C in, okay, coupling capacitors C C, and C E emitter bypass capacitor. So this emitter bypass capacitor we are connecting in parallel with the emitter resistor R E. Okay, so we will see the role of these capacitors in the multi-stage amplifiers. So first one is the input capacitor C. So this C in it will generally we are using at the input of the amplifier. So this we are using at the initial stages of the amplifier. So this input capacitor it couples the AC signal to the base of the first transistor. So mainly it can be used to a couple couple the input AC signal to the base of the transistor. Suppose if uh, uh, this capacitor C in is not present. Suppose if it is not present, uh, then this source it will be it will be in parallel with the resistor R two. So thereby the bias voltage of the transistor may change due to the uh, change in bias voltage, then the operating point uh, will shift. So, due to that operating point shifted, the output it will affect on your output voltage. So that's why the C in is uh, it it can be used to couple the input AC signal to the base of the transistor, base of the first first stage. So this is the role of the uh, input capacitor C. And next one is the emitter bypass capacitor so this emitter bypass capacitor it can be represented with the c suffix e and it is connected in parallel with the emitter resistor that means re across the re so in general you will have the transistor like this and you have a emitter resistor re Okay, so this emitter bypass capacitor it is connected in parallel with uh, this R E. So this is it can be represented with C. When an emitter resistor is added in C E, its voltage gain reduced. When we add emitter resistor uh, emitter resistor to the C E amplifier, then voltage gain reduced but the input impedance will increase input impedance will increase so it offers a lower reactance path to the ac signal the so this uh, capacitor ce it offers a very low resistance path to the ac signal because the reactance of capacitor so that is equal xc is equal to 1 by 2 pi Fc. So that means uh, for very high frequency signals, uh, then the reactance uh, is will be equal to zero. So reactance zero means uh, the capacitor it acts as a short circuit. So that means uh, the current, uh, the emitter current easily pass through the emitter. Okay. So because of this short circuit, okay, uh, for AC signal, the capacitor acts as a short circuit. So that's why this emitter resistor will not there. That means uh, there is no voltage drop across the emitter, across the emitter resistor. So that's why the voltage gain will increase. Voltage gain will increase. So in the absence of uh, the capacitor, voltage developed across RE will be feedback to the input side, thereby reducing the output voltage. Okay, so when present, sir, when present, sir, okay, so when this capacitor is present uh, for AC signal, the capacitor acts as a short circuit. So that's why the output voltage will increase. Suppose this capacitor is not present. If capacitor is not present, uh, then there is a voltage drop across the emitter resistor. Voltage drop across the emitter resistor. 
So due to that, the, if the drop across the emitter resistor is uh, increases, then the output voltage will decreases. The output voltage decreases. So if the output voltage decreases, then the gain voltage gain A V is equal to V naught by V in. So if output voltage decreases, then the gain also decreases. So this will happen when the capacitor is not present. So this uh, in the presence of CE, the amplified AC will pass through this. So this is a rule of the emitter bypass capacitor. So this uh, emitter bypass capacitor mainly it will affect on the gain, gain of the amplifier. Next, uh, emitter bypass, uh, bypass capacitor calculation. So, firstly, the bypass capacitor size can be calculated using the following equation. So, the reactance expression Xc is equal to Xc is equal to 1 by 2 pi Fc. So, from that, uh, the capacitor value C is equal to 1 by 2 pi Fxc. So, this is the expression. So, the value of capacitor which is required. Okay, so let's say we find out what value of a bypass capacitor is required to uh, to filter out an AC signal of 60 H and 500 resistor in parallel with the capacitor. So that means uh, the frequency is uh, 60 H and the reactance will be 500. Then the value of C required uh, would be it will be around uh, 5.3 microfarad. So the capacitor value 5.3 microfarad which is required to filter out an AC signal uh, of with the frequency 60H. Okay, so this is a emitter bypass capacitor. And next one coupling capacitor. So already we know the coupling capacitor it can be used to uh, it can be used to allow the AC signal to pass from output of one stage to the input of the second stage and also it will blocks the DC signal to pass from one stage to the next stage. So this is the main purpose of the coupling capacitor. So already we have discussed how the capacitor allows AC and blocks the DC. So once again we will recall that. So for AC signal, so let us having for DC signal F is equal to 0, then the reactance Xc is equal to 1 by 2 pi Fc. So that means the frequency is 0. 1 by 0 that implies infinite. So that means the reactance will be very, very high. So when reactance will be very, very high? When the capacitor is a open circuit. Okay. So when capacitor is open circuit, then the DC signal, it cannot pass through it. Okay. So this is the case for DC signal, DC signals. Okay. So the second case is the AC signal for AC, for AC signal. So for AC signal, we have for C, F is equal to 60 H or 50 H. It is having some finite value and the reactance will be X is equal to 1 by so if you assume very very high frequencies, if you assume f is equal to infinite, then one by infinite is equal to zero. So reactance will be very very small. So reactance will be very very small when the capacitor is uh, acting like a, a short circuit. So that means uh, when you apply a AC signal to the capacitor, uh, it can easily pass through the capacitor for AC signals. Okay, so in this way, the capacitor it allows a signals and blocks the DC signals. So this capacitor it allows only the AC signals and blocks the DC signals to pass from one circuit to another circuit. So the coupling capacitor normally used in audio circuits such as a microphone circuit. Okay, so. Here the DC power is uh, used to give power to the parts of the circuit. So uh, mainly the DC power it can be used to only to uh, for powering on the 
circuit okay and uh, ac signal so ac signal is a it is a, a required signal here ac signal is a required and dc power is uh, just only to powering on the uh, circuit so dc power is used to give power to parts of the circuit such as a microphone which needs dc power to operate the dc signals must be present in the circuit for powering purposes okay so these are the advantages these are the advantages of a resistance capacitance coupled amplifier rc coupled amplifier so it requires uh, no expensive no expensive or bulky components so here in this type of method we are using coupling elements as uh, coupling elements are the resistor and the capacitor so that's why these are very uh, th these are not expensive elements and also these are not uh, uh, bulky components because they are uh, the resistor and the capacitors are very small small in size and uh, the cost also very small so that's why it requires no expensive or uh, bulky components and no adjustments so in that components resistor and capacitor there are no adjustments like a transformer and hence uh, it is a uh, small light and uh, inexpensive and the second advantage is the the overall amplification is uh, higher than that of the other amplification so amplification is uh, also very high and it has a, a minimum non linear distortion minimum possible non linear distortion uh, because here we are not using any uh, such type of uh, coils or transformers we are not using any coils or transformers in the rc coupled amplifier so that's why it exhibits very small minimum amount of uh, a minimum non linear distortion hence uh, there are no magnetic fields to interfere okay so we are not using here any coils or transformer so that's why there is no interference here fourth one it has a wide uh, flat frequency response wide flat frequency versus gain curve so this is a frequency response curve so in general the frequency response curve we are drawing between the frequency and gain so frequency is taking on x axis and gain is taking on the y axis so here you can see so it is it is a, a flat the curve will be like this so from f1 to f2 you can observe a, a flat wide and flat frequency response always the flat frequency response is uh, uh, desirable okay so this is a uh, under at the below the at lower frequencies under higher frequencies uh, uh, there is a gain rolls off and coming to the disadvantages so the voltage and uh, power gains are low because of uh, effective load resistance because of effective because the voltage gain and uh, power gains are very uh, low for this rc coupled amplifier because of the effective load resistance effective load resistance uh, means uh, see here suppose if you have two stages if you have two stages this is a uh, first stage this is a second stage okay so suppose the the first stage it is having some output impedance it is having some output impedance and uh, the second stage having some input resistance input resistance so when we cascaded these two amplifiers that means uh, when we are applying the output of uh, first stage to the input of the second stage that means cascaded connection cascaded so output of first stage we are giving to the input of the second stage so that's why in the in this uh, scenario the output uh, impedance of the first stage in will be in parallel with uh, the input resistance of the second stage okay so this two r not and ri both will be in parallel okay so so the output resistance of, suppose if you take the ce amplifier if you take ce amplifier so for ce amplifier the output uh, impedance will be high and input impedance will be low 
So if you have one impedance, one high value of impedance, and another is a low value of impedance, if they are in both are in parallel, then their effective resistance, one is high value, another one is low value. So they then their effective resistance will be equal to the low value low low value. Okay, so that's why because of this uh, effective load resistance uh, decreases, uh, then the voltage gain and power gains also reducing. And second point is uh, they become noisy with uh, age. They become noisy with age because the we are using a capacitor and a resistor. So as on time passing, the operation, uh, the behavior of the capacitor may change. So due to that, uh, there is a uh, some noise produced so that is a noisy with the age and uh, third one is a uh, due to poor impedance matching the power transfer will be low due to poor impedance matching so here in rc coupled in rc coupled amplifier so impedance matching is not uh, perfect impedance matching is uh, not perfect that means uh, it is showing a poor frequency matching so because of this uh, poor impedance matching, we cannot transfer maximum power from one circuit to the another circuit. So these are the drawbacks in the RC coupled amplifier and uh, the applications. So the apl applications are, uh, they have excellent uh, audio fidelity over a wide range of uh, frequency. Uh, so the exhibits RC coupled amplifiers, they exhibit a, a good uh, excellent uh, audio fidelity that means uh, fidelity means uh, the degree of uh, exactness the degree of exactness that means uh, the amplifier output uh, it should be able to reproduce the given input signal without changing its uh, shape so that is the uh, excellent audio fidelity over wide frequency range and uh, the second one is uh, it can be widely used as a voltage amplifier voltage amplifier and the third one is the uh, poor, due to poor impedance matching, the RC coupled are rarely used in final stages. So always the good impedance uh, uh, is uh, desirable in the uh, final stages because at the final stages, the output of the amplifier we are giving to the output devices. So there the impedance matching should be very, very important because if you have a multi-stage amplifier, so let us assume this is a last stage last stage and you have a some output device like uh, some loudspeaker or motor or anything output device okay so the last stage output uh, imprint it should be match with the input impedance of the output device so if the both the impedances are matched uh, then we can transfer a maximum power Otherwise, uh, some uh, otherwise we cannot transfer a maximum power. So that's why uh, always uh, the uh, excellent impedance matching uh, circuits are re required at the final stages. Because of this uh, poor uh, poor uh, impedance matching, this RC type uh, RC coupled amplifiers so we are not using at the final stages. Okay. So to overcome all these uh, drawbacks in the RC coupled amplifier, we are going for the transformer coupled. Uh, amplifier so next one is a transformer coupled amplifier so the coupling method that uses a transformer as a coupling device so here in this type of amplifier instead of the resistor and a capacitor we are using a transformer as a coupling element okay and uh, there is no capacitor used in this method method of coupling because uh, the transformer itself conveys uh, AC component uh, directly to the base of the second stage. So here in this type of uh, uh, amplifier, we are not going to use the capacitor because the transformer itself, uh, it conveys the input AC signal to the secondary of the secondary winding of the transformer. So that's why here no need of any capacitor. And uh, the secondary winding of the transformer provides the base written path and uh, hence there is no need of base resistance. And coupling is popular, popular for its uh, efficiency and uh, impedance 
matching so these are the main advantages in the transformer coupled amplifier so the first one is a efficiency and the second one is a impedance matching that's why uh, this type of uh, amplifier uh, uh, rarely uh, mostly using so this is a circuit diagram of the transformer coupled amplifier so here uh, the main difference between the rc coupled amplifier and the transformer coupled amplifier is the so in place of a resistor and a capacitor coupling elements uh, uh, that resistor and a capacitor elements are replaced with a transformer so this is a transformer so here we are using a two types of transformers here one is a coupling transformer so this coupling transformer it can be used to couple the ac signal from first stage to the input of the second stage and uh, the another transformer that is called uh, output transformer so the output transformer it can be used to take the output from the collector of the second stage so these are the two transformers we are using coupling transformer and uh, output transformer so whatever the input signal to be amplified so that we are applying at the input here so that we are applying to the base of the first transistor through the input capacitor c in so the c in it couples the ac signal to the base of the first transistor and it will amplify and uh, the amplified uh, signal we are getting at the primary winding of the transformer so this ac signal which is present in the primary winding it will be coupled to the secondary winding through the uh, induction mutual induction so the this ac signal will be produced at the secondary winding of the transformer and this secondary this ac signal present at the secondary winding it will be coupled or applied to the base of the base of the second stage and again it will be amplified and uh, uh, it will be, again it will be further amplified and finally the amplified output it will we are getting at the uh, we are getting at the secondary winding of the output transformer so this is a process uh, process of amplifying using the transformer coupled amplifier advantages so the operation of the transformer coupled amplifier is basically more efficient it is more efficient because of uh, low dc resistance of the primary connected in the collector circuit because here uh, there is no dc Uh, it, it is having very low dc signal okay now because uh, the dc signal it cannot pass through the transformer already we have discussed because when you apply a dc signal then the, uh, as the dc signals are constant uh, the magnetic field it cannot move and the field lines uh, they may not interact with the uh, secondary winding of the transformer that's why there is no Uh, dc signal will be coupled to the secondary winding of the transformer so that's why it is more efficient sir, because only the ac signal it can be coupled to the uh, or uh, only ac signal it can be coupled to the secondary winding of the transformer and second one it provides a higher voltage gain third one it provides a impedance matching it provides a impedance matching because of it is having very low dc resistance because the windings having very low resistance so that's why we can transfer a maximum pro maximum power from one circuit to the another circuit so these are the advantages of the transformer coupled amplifier and coming to the disadvantages uh, uh, it is having a, a poor frequency response it exhibits a, a poor frequency response so if you see at the frequency f not the frequency response will be it is a not constant it is varying non linear okay so uh, if you uh, if you compare the frequency response uh, of uh, rc coupled amplifier and transformer coupled amplifier for rc coupled amplifier we have a a flawed frequency response a flawed frequency response but in transformer coupled amplifier so there is a Uh, here the frequency response is not constant always the flat wide and uh, flat frequency response is uh, desirable 
So that's why it is showing a, it exhibits a, a poor frequency response. And uh, frequency distortion is uh, higher. So frequency distortion is uh, higher because uh, here in this uh, transformer coupled amplifier, we are using a uh, coils, coils and windings. So that's why the frequency distortion is uh, higher. And the transformer tends to produce hum noise. It is a uh, it is a noise produced by the transformers. Uh, and uh, the transformers are bulky and uh, costly. So the cost of uh, the transformer is uh, high when you compare with the previous coupling elements uh, like uh, resistor and uh, capacitor. Not only is the cost, but also the size. The size occupied by the transfer transformers will be a large in the area. So these are the drawbacks of the transformer coupled amplifier. And coming to the applications. So mostly used impedance matching purposes. Impedance matching purposes. So the transformers can be used as a, a good, excellent uh, impedance matching purposes because the uh, transformer uh, the windings of the transformer are having very uh, low resistance uh, so that uh, they can transfer transfer maximum power from one circuit to the another circuit and the second one used for power amplification it can, mainly it can be used for power amplification and third one used in applications uh, where maximum power transfer is uh, needed so the applications which uh, the, uh, require the maximum power, uh, there we can use this type of uh, amplifiers, transformer coupled amplifiers, because uh, the transformer coupled amplifiers are, uh, they are a, a good, uh, they can be useful for good impedance matching. And coming to the direct coupled amplifier, so direct coupled amplifier. So, so in this uh, direct coupled amplifier, here we are not using any coupling elements like uh, uh, if you see previous uh, methods the first one is a rc coupled amplifier and the second one is a transformer coupled amplifier so in first method we are using a resistor and capacitor as a coupling element and in the second method transformer used as a coupling element but here in this uh, direct coupled amplifier we are not using any coupling elements that means uh, the output of first stage, we are directly applying to the input of the second stage. And uh, the individual amplifier stages bias conditions uh, are so designed uh, such that uh, stages can be directly connected without DC isolation. Okay. And also this direct coupled uh, amplifiers, they can be used for very low frequencies. That means less than 10 hedges and uh, this type of direct coupled uh, methods mostly used when the load is connected in series so here you can see the circuit diagram of the two stage rc coupled amplifier so total two stages are there okay so this is first stage and this is the second stage okay so this r1 r2 or for these are the this will uh, they will provide a voltage divided bias so this voltage divided bias uh, they will keep try to keep the operating point uh, in middle of the load line and uh, what are the signal uh, what are the signal to be amplified that we are applying it here this will be amplified by the first stage okay Again, that amplified signal we are applying to the base of the next stage through the without any coupling element. That means uh, directly we are not using any coupling element. Directly we are applying. So that's why it is called uh, direct coupled uh, amplifier. And also we are not going to use any uh, capacitors. Only we are using the uh, active device. Uh, and resistors okay so this is a, a direct coupled amplifier and also you can see the frequency response so frequency response of uh, this uh, direct coupled amplifier or it is like this so 
the frequency response is uh, constant at very high frequencies uh, the gain is uh, it is falling or rolls off so that means uh, it is uh, showing a, a wide uh, frequency response than the first one rc coupled so the advantage is it has excellent uh, frequency response it has excellent frequency response because the frequency response of this uh, direct coupled amplifier it will be like this but if you see the frequency response of uh, rc coupled amplifier then the gain will be rolls off at uh, lower frequencies and uh, rolls off at uh, higher frequencies okay so gain is falling at uh, lower frequencies as well as uh, higher frequencies but uh, in this direct coupled amplifier the gain is falling only at the higher frequencies that means uh, it is having a, a wide uh, frequency response second one the circuit arrangement is uh, simple uh, because of use of uh, minimum use of resistors because here only we are using a uh, resistors along with the capacitor third one the circuit is of uh, low cost because of the options of uh, expensive coupling devices so the cost of this uh, uh, direct coupled amplifier is very very small because here we are using only the resistors and the active elements but in the previous cases we we are using we have used uh, uh, capacitors and uh, transformers and coming to the disadvantages uh, this type of direct coupled amplifier it cannot be used to amplify high frequencies it cannot be used to amplify very high frequency it can be only for the low frequency signals uh, uh, which is less than 10 h and uh, or we, we, we can also use for, for dc signals also so the operating point is shifted due to temperature variations so if any temperature variations are there then it causes to change the uh, operating point applications the applications are low frequency applications and uh, low current amplifications so these are the applications of the direct coupled amplifier so this is a comparison of uh, different types of uh, coupling schemes used in so till now we have discussed uh, three types of uh, coupling schemes used in amplifiers so that are rc coupled amplifier first one and the second one is a transformer coupled amplifier and the third one is a direct coupled amplifier so let's see the comparison so we are comparing these all the three with respect to the frequency response cost space and weight impedance matching and use <coughs> if you compare with respect to the frequency response uh, the rc couple is having excellent in audio frequency range so within this audio frequency range it is exhibits a, a excellent frequency response so the audio frequency range is the 20 h2 20 kilo h so in between this uh, range uh, it uh, shows a uh, excellent uh, frequency response and the transformer coupled is uh, showing a <coughs> poor frequency response in direct coupled amplifier it is the uh, best <coughs> second one cost so cost is the uh, in rc coupled it is uh, less because we are using a <coughs> we are using a capacitor so capacitor is a very small cost and more so capacitor uh, uh, transformer cost is a more when you compare with the resistors and capacitor so that's why the cost of the transformer coupled is a uh, more and uh, the direct coupled is a uh, least because uh, we are not using any coupling element and space and uh, weight so the transformer coupled uh, amplifier it is uh, having more space and uh, weight also and the rc coupled is less and the direct coupled is the uh, least and impedance matching so impedance matching is a uh, uh, for rc coupled it is a uh, not good and for transformer coupled amplifier it is a uh, uh, excellent uh, impedance matching so that's why this uh, or this a transformer coupled amplifier so we can use it to transfer maximum power and for direct coupled it is good the use the use of different multi stage amplifiers so rc coupled we can useful for audio frequency 
uh, for voltage amplification. For voltage amplification, we can use RC type and uh, for transformer coupled uh, for power amplification and for direct coupled uh, for amplifying extreme low frequencies. So to amplify very low frequency signals uh, less than 10 Hz uh, or 0. So for in that uh, for that frequencies, the direct coupled amplifier can be used to amplify. Okay, so thank you. So in this class, we have discussed the different uh, coupling schemes used in multi-stage amplifiers. So mainly we have discussed uh, three types of uh, uh, coupling schemes that are RC coupled amplifier, second one transformer coupled amplifier and third one direct coupled amplifier. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.